Hi, and welcome to my very awkward intro. My name is Susan Slash Bambi, and this is Bambi's Rambles. How are we, friends? Are we good? That's good. And if you're not okay, that's okay too. In today's video, we are actually going to get to the the Molly Go Lightly deep dive that I have been working on. And when I walked into this, how much more came out about Molly Go Lightly? And I feel like a lot of people might know a lot about, about Molly Go Lightly. I feel like we've got a lot of clip channels, we've got a lot of live stream reaction channels. But what we don't have, and correct me if I'm wrong, someone send it my way because I will share it. What I feel like we don't have is a complete breakdown and timeline of everything that Molly Go Lightly has done. If everyone can see all of these things, and kind of see why some of these things occurred as well, it'll give you a bigger picture as to why, where we are now with the Bullhorn Betty, Molly Go Lightly, Summer Wells saga, debacle. I hate saying that because Summer Wells is a beautiful little girl who is missing from Tennessee. Um, I will leave the TBI, I think it's 1-800-TBI find, but I will just put it here. I could be completely wrong. Imagine how silly I would look if I was wrong. Well, I would look silly, but you know what I mean. Anyway, let's get to the point. Who is Molly Go Lightly? It depends who you ask, really, because you could ask one person and they'll say, oh, that was Big Juicy off Wife Swap. You can ask another person be like, she was the one who made fun of Shanann Watts after she passed away. She's the one that went to the laundry house with a laundry basket and became the Karen mascot. There, there is ones where she has stolen money from strippers. There's a story of her embezzling money. There are so many different things that we could talk about in this and show you guys that Molly has a pattern and her pattern is do stupid shocking things and this is what happens, right? And you guys would think that, oh yeah, she probably started doing that on YouTube. Um, no, actually. Um, as you'll see in the next couple of clips, you'll see that Molly Go Lightly has been chasing the fame tail since I don't know when it started. Since when those nails that she wears, her friendship nails were in fashion. I think that's maybe just as far, if not further. Um, she went on, here is a clip that I received from a channel called Savage. And I will link Savage down below. Um, and it is Molly Go Lightly. Melissa has done, um, has done a couple of reality TV shows in the past. So here is one clip where you just watch it. Just watch. You never know what to expect. Things change very quickly. Things can happen to drive any second. And that's what makes the job exciting and fun. Well, it looks like we got a lady out here dancing outside of our car. She's going to be driving, so we need to remind her to stop the club. She's supposed to be driving. Go get her, go get her. In all seriousness, she could have caused an accident or even hurt herself. A lot of people get in accidents here on the boulevard. It's kind of a crazy place to drive. Stop. You know what really good you try to run from us. What? What are you doing? You know what? I will be honest with you. Can I take my seatbelt off? Yeah. Can I come out? Is that are you drunk? No, I wish. Can I come out? Why would you like do dance in the street? Honestly, can I be honest with you? Can I get out? I know you have to Yeah, don't lie to me. Can I get out though? Yeah, if you want to, come on. I, I'm really fat. So. Go sit in front of the car. Alright. Honestly, my name's Marissa. I'll give you I'll give you my ID. That's Holly. I'm gonna be real good. Go sit in front of my car. Okay. I'm kinda big. So I'm not that happy. Alright, I don't care. Sit in front of my car. Not on the side. Sure. Face towards the light. Alright. Alright, what's your deal? I'm gonna be on Real Housewives in Las Vegas. That's Holly. And I've been taking videos of us being stupid, like idiots. Like this? Yeah. I love the camera, 
I, I know, I know I f***ed up. I'll give you my ID. I'm cool. I'm totally cool. I'm not drunk. I just really want to get videos of Holly dancing with lunatic. Why are you acting like you're drunk? Oh, God, I wish I was drunk. Yeah. Well, Why did you stop in the middle of the road? Yeah. That's Honestly, all we want to get videos of her dancing with random people because... So why can't you just get out of the car and do that? Yeah, why can't you just, just park somewhere and do that? I'm trying to get on a reality show and I really want it really bad. And um, yeah, I'll do it. I'll find it. <laughs> I'm all right, though, to drive. But we just come from the Aria and we met these awesome lesbos. There like four lesbos who were awesome and I made out with one of them on camera because I thought it would be cool. <laughs> oh, of course, everything's on camera with you. I love it. Who's your, who's your friend? Oh, that's Holly? All right, Holly, come over here. Uh-oh. Who is she? She's awesome. She'll tell you. I'm not going to say Hello, Holly. Hi. What's going on, Holly? What did you do now? Why were you dancing? Because it was a bet. It was a bet? Not so much. We had a little fun earlier and we were just dancing around. The lesbos. I love the lesbos. Was, I made out with one. She was 500 pounds and I loved her. She was a butch. I loved her. She's a guy. I'll make out with her right now if you want me to. No. Don't do that. I'm sorry. I'm not drunk, I'm just crazy. Holly, that dumb lick right there, jumped down and she goes, hey, let me dance to see if we can get some guys, maybe I'll make $10 to pay for my cab. And she did, and then boom, what happens? The freaking cops pull up. All right, pretty much uh, through the chaos, uh, we got some IDs, we're gonna figure out what's going on. Oh, so oh, there's people trying to have fun, but can't be stopping on the street. First, I thought she was gonna be intoxicated, but then after, uh, uh, a little more investigation, we were able to determine she wasn't. Basically, we're going to let them off with a warning this time. They were just loud and obnoxious and, uh, you know, just kind of all over the place. Hey, you can't be doing that. You can't be dancing in the street. I know it's funny, but you could have seriously caused an accident. Okay, so that was a number of years ago. She said she was trying to get on the Real Housewives of Las Vegas. I'm guessing that never happened because I've never seen The Real Housewives of Las Vegas. I could be completely wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. But, okay, so she had that. Then we go on to the most famous thing that has ever happened to Marissa, Molly Golightly. We have Wife Swap. The Wife Swap is when she was big juicy and she, again, just watched the clip. <laughs> Big Juicy, a.k.a. Marissa Zadensky, from Las Vegas, Nevada. Very well known in Las Vegas as Big Juicy. Basically, as an over-the-hill party girl. Everyone at the casinos knows me. Everyone at the nightclubs know me. Marissa's been married to husband Walter for nine years. They have a six-year-old son, Jake, and share their home with Marissa's best friend and live-in nanny, Princess. I married Walter because he's the only person that I've ever gotten unconditional love from. Marissa and I are about as polar opposite as you can get. I uh, do uh, data analysis. I'm a statistician. I work very hard. I've got to get up around 5 o'clock in the morning, and when I get home, I work too. He likes to do very lame, boring things. He's not going to go to a nightclub. He won't do it. It is very important that Jake and Marissa have everything that they need. I am the sole provider for the house. When Marissa's not out partying, she likes to relax at home while their manny, Princess, takes care of Jake. Good night, Princess. I'm definitely a part of the family. Princess is Jake's nanny, but more than an actual employee, he's really part of the family. He cares for Jake, he cares for Marissa, he's a big help around the house. Hands on mom that follows the schedule, blah, blah, blah. I'm just not like that. I can't bend over my crotch like Once my son is put to bed, that's when me and Princess sneak out. Marissa's a good mother, good wife, but she goes out a lot. So you see how like she's like she goes out at night with princess mind you if you guys have questions about where princess is they're still very 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 much friends and princess doesn't seem to have an issue with anything that marissa does he doesn't say anything publicly about it really um <clears throat> so we have those things there and i think she came to youtube and I'm not entirely sure what her goal was from from what I from what I could see because we, since 2017 she's she was in on the Watts case, but then we have again this clip. Uh oh, I sound like Shanann. Sarah, uh, uh, da -da. the way you love me, ma. Dun, dun. Make me famous! 
Make me popular. I'm going to get rich. Are you sure that's what you want? Think about it. Why is it that my videos that are very, very negative, right? Make money. When I put out positive messages, shitty views, no comments, no one cares about the life coaching stuff. They say they do. People are buying Molly Go Mighty merchandise and gift cards just to talk to me. Okay? So think about it. Think about what you say about people. And the thing is, is I'm not going to be crying. I'm going to be like, well, now I've got 100,000 people asking me if, uh, blah, 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 blah. Now you got reporters reaching out to me about this, 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 and that. Bring it. Come on. Don't tell the world that you're so happy because of your job. Your job essentially ruined your entire family and took your fucking life. But now you're getting a glimpse into why people just snap. What does he have? Hold on. It'll be nothing compared to Facebook, but I'll be fine. I don't even notice when people talk shit anymore, only when they bring up my family. That's when the smoke comes out of my ears. Well, you know what, Frankie? This is not going to be an easy journey for you. At all. But you gotta ignore them because they're nothing but low lifes. But at the same. Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Hi guys. I got my Thrive. It just came in the mail. Chris is gonna be so excited. Got my new patches. Look, we got a zebra. It goes right here. You know what? I'm just gonna put it on my titty because you can put it anywhere. See this we got we got chocolate thrive lavelle chocolate lifestyle mix so what do we got here it says ultra micronized nutrient minerals probiotics everything you need is in here guys got all my patches you know what I'm feeling super good today then I'm gonna put two patches on I'm gonna let the zebra match the leopard <laughs> and see how that goes yeah I'm gonna be up all day I can take care of my kids do the laundry do the dishes vacuum the house mop go to the car cleaner pick up the wash blah, 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 blah. all that before 10 a.m. check out thrive it's better than crack hi guys get your thrive <sighs> Okay, God rest her soul. Oh no, Chris is around, I gotta go. <laughs> God rest her soul, but those videos, ay dandito, those videos, ay cabrón, ay no loca. Now I'm not gonna take them off, you wanna know why? Cause they don't even work. They don't work. They don't work. They're stupid. You gotta take your little pills first. 20 minutes before you have your thing, guys. You gotta take your little pills. She was passionate about what she was doing, the poor thing. But to shove it down people, you know how expensive that shit is? It works, guys. Ah. Oh. Cece, you're gonna fall off the counter. Be careful. <laughs> I told you it's expensive. I'm just keeping it fucking real. A hustle? It's a fucking scam. It's a pyramid scheme. Over $200. You can go and get protein powder like this. It's just a little bit of protein powder, right? 
You can get some friggin' uh, hydroxy cut to, like crap, and you can go to 19.95. Go over to the fucking GNC. You can go to the supermarket and get this shit. You can get fucking slim fast. Or if you want to lose weight, how about you drink some water and run around the block a couple of times? Stop eating sugar. Do as I say, not as I do. Yes. Oh, and this didn't even come with any bars. This shit didn't even come with any bars. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> she never lost weight. She said she lost weight. Lipozine. I heard about lipozine. No dose. I remember no dose. Holy shit, we're at 406. Yes, it was 200 fucking dollars. I only bought it to support a friend. Do you feel boob amazing? I totally feel boob amazing. I feel like I'm about to get an EKG. The, the, the patches are supposed to like give you energy. Oh, tastes like, hold on, lo, let me go get my Thrive Bar, hold on. Hold on, hold on guys. Hold on, let me go get my Thrive Bar. Hold on, guys. Mm. So we got the one bars. Oh my God. I better hold off until Chris gets home or else he's gonna kill me. Hold on, guys. I'm just gonna hold on, Cece. Don't fall off the couch. Be careful. You might break your neck or something. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, you guys. Thank you, Nadia. You guys. This is the greatest thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. This is the greatest thing I've ever tasted. This is better than Reese's peanut butter cups in the refrigerator with crumbled Kit Kat mixed in ice cream. Oh my God, I could survive on these. <sighs> these taste so wonderful. I want it all over my body. The Nutella, put Nutella over my face and do a Nutella beard. Oh, I can't, I can't. Oh, these bars, Chris is gonna go crazy. He's gonna kill me if I don't wait up for him. Mmm, birthday cake. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Do I like the oatmeal raisin or the birthday cake? Cece, honey, what do you like? <laughs> It's terrible. It's a horrible thing what I'm doing. So, we've only just began with Chris Watts. So how do they get you? By showing you videos of this woman talking about how happy she was. You guys want to think this and that and this and that, but you still don't want to think about his motive and what was going on behind closed doors, all the debt that they were in, all the fakeness. I'm sorry, but instead of, you know, ogling over this girl trying to sell products, I don't find that fucking fascinating. I find that a little weirdo and a little bit crazy. But what do I know? You should be more concerned with how she was so dedicated to keeping up with the Joneses and being a phony, okay? This woman in particular, and a god, God almighty, God bless her and her fucking children. Seriously, God bless them. And to hell with that goddamn monster, okay? She didn't deserve to die. She should have just stopped. And don't give me all this bullshit that she was making tons of money. She was not. These people that peddle these products, they pay out of pocket. Give me a break. 
And that was another part of that part of that problem. And a lot of people don't understand that. This woman has made me feel, honestly, and I should not have any benefit out of this at all. But this woman did teach me a lesson. Money is not everything. Communication is a lot more important. Keeping up with the Joneses is just bullshit. And guess what? Like I said in my other video, it's going out of fashion. Women, you better keep your friggin' eyes open because 2018 was the year of the woman trying to just plummet themselves into the ground. You don't believe me yet. You don't want to listen, but take a look around. This whole Me Too bullshit, the whole media circus, take a look around. Everybody is obsessed with having a nice big house and a nice big car that it can't afford, okay? That drives men insane, okay? Men going their own way. A lot of people still don't know what that is. It was new to me uh, until about a month ago. Men are starting to drift away from long-term relationships, marriage off the table for a lot of men and it's catching on. Their worst nightmare is this woman, Shanann Watts. That's their worst nightmare, okay? Their worst nightmare, going into work, complimenting a woman on her new hairstyle. Oh, he sexually harassed me. I gotta go to HR. Telling you, this voyeuristic shit with this uh, plunder person, you know what, you're disgusting, plunder, what, whoever the fuck you are, you're disgusting. You're disgusting. I think everybody should be reporting your ass and have those videos taken down. And I, if I find out you're monetizing that shit, then you know what, you're going straight to hell because you don't monetize shit where people are being abused, where people are being I mean, that's just awful, okay? I don't monetize anything with people dying, okay? Death, anything, okay? I don't. But you know what? If that's your fucking thing, do it. Because you know what? You're a piece of shit. And then if you agree and think that watching all these videos of her is like a way of you paying your respects to her, it's not. It's actually doing a huge disservice to your own self and your own psyche then, and it's also doing a huge disservice to her family that has to know that her stuff was stolen off of her Facebook and put on the web for everybody to view and criticize and mock and make comments about. I don't know, maybe I'm different. Maybe I... No, maybe I'm just different. I don't know. But you know what? I have a conscience. I have a heart. And I'm not going to sell this girl out. I mean, she paid the ultimate price at the end. And how this plunger person can think that this is kind of cool. I can rip all her videos. You're a piece of shit. I feel like I'm showing you guys a lot of clips here. But I, the thing is, is that there is so much that this woman does. 24 7 even in that first clip i showed you where she's going going to try and get on a reality show by getting on another reality show by breaking the law like this woman is she like she's just not like dumb dumb like she's a menace she's a menace to society she's a she's a she's a mischievous karen like there is so much here right and some of this is illegal that what she has done once we get further into this. So I don't understand why people are not acknowledging the fact. Um, don't send this woman money to go to um, Tennessee and all of these other places. Don't send this woman money because because this woman, one, she's only doing things to become famous. Two, 
we've seen time and time again, she has no self-awareness, no care for others, no understanding or it, it, maybe she does understand. She just doesn't give a shit about the law. Like this woman should not be trusted in regards to true crime cases. In fact, I will go as far as to say this woman shouldn't be made famous from these things, viral and famous. And then all these people cry and moan about, um, oh, we always, stupid people always get so much money and they're always so famous, like the Kardashians and all these other people. Don't make them famous. Now, if you want to see Molly go lightly, that is essentially, she is a lol cow. We get it. We understand it. We have these channels here, which is Crude AF. We have Burnt Toast, which is my absolute fave. Um, we have Savage. We have Serendipity. We have um, so many different channels that do content that cover lol cow people like this, like Laura from Life Perplex, Molly Go Lightly, all those sorts of things. So we do not need to go and watch this Broads channel because what I've just showed you is all of these things, and that's just a small snippet of all of the stuff that Molly Go Lightly has done. Guys, did you get that? Like, that's a small snippet. This is a small amount of stuff that I can get. Now we move on to more serious things we get her being dumb in tv shows okay you guys want to say that's nothing don't worry about it that's all like that's just silliness from years ago okay you can say that to me but what i will say to you is i'm just getting started <laughs> molly go lightly has also done some pretty fucked up stuff that I feel like should automatically disqualify her from being a true crime channel, especially one that goes to places. Molly Go Lightly has this in her bag of tricks. You got arrested in 2003 for embezzlement charges. You must like jail. So the other day, somebody brought this up in her live and they asked if these charges were her. And she's like, that's not me. There, there's a million Gonzaleses out there. There's a, a million people. Nobody ever said what name these charges were filed under. Nobody ever said. So she used that as a diversion tactic because now if people go search under that name, they're not going to find anything. But if you have access to the PACER system, which is where all federal cases are filed, and you type in her current name, you're going to find these charges. And she's denying that it's her. But if you go to a search site, and, go, and I went to several, and I typed her name in, She's the only person with her name that comes up, okay? So it has to be her. There, there's nobody else that it could be. She lived in the same place at the same time during the same years when these file, uh, charges were filed against her, these embezzlement charges. So it has to be her. There's nobody else that it could be. It's her. But she's lying and saying it's not. Maybe that's a reality show you're going on. It's going to be lock up whatever county you live in in Jersey. So she's embezzling money. She's doing all this crazy stuff. She goes on. I Alice love... is calling you out. On your racism, mommy. Ooh. Look, you mock how Chinese and Asian people speak. Was that a mistake? She wants to know. I did get uh, that no, one, Molly. You I were... have to listen to three people speaking Chinese all day long. And guess what? I'm starting to learn some shit. Yeah. Yes. All day long. You, that was not a sentence. Oh, sure. Um, I, I, I. I, <laughs> I can't debate that because I don't know. <laughs> no, I know what she just said. What did she say? Nothing. Because she's <laughs> making fun of the language. I'm not. Yes, you are. Not the off. actual words. Someone's going to come out of. Uh, out of. Yeah, it, all, right, all right. Well, all right. Nihao. Is that a word? Oh, my God. Nihao. Is that a word? Nihao. Thanks, Alice. I don't know, but it's it's all I said was hello in Chinese. That's it. Okay. I just said hello and I left it at that. Okay. But I'm learning the curse words. He's teaching but, me the curse words. He says fair, some her fight. son does on who a is positive he? note, Molly. I on a positive, I'm trying to
does all this crazy stuff. And let's not forget that she did have an N word, um, an, an, an N word disaster, okay? Molly did have this as well. This is another thing that's in her, her history, in her pocket, in her handbag. And I wanted to get the opinion of someone that can have a more educated opinion than myself, maybe, and someone that's actually had uh, conversations uh, with Molly Go Lightly, and that is BX Beast Boy. BX Beast Boy and I, we don't always get along, but you know what? I'm the type of person where I agree with you on one thing, I disagree with you another. It's, it happens. But he was lovely enough to put a clip together for me about his experience with deba debating, interviewing Molly Go Lightly, and also his opinion on her with the N word. So. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm BX Beast Boy, YouTube's first supervillain. And Bambi rambles. Hey, yeah, I see you, girl. I see you with the accent. Hey, hey, I see you. She asked me to tell you guys about my experience with Molly Golightly. Well, it was pretty nasty, son. It's extremely nasty. I first heard of her when my supporters asked me to react to a video of her saying the N-word. Me being Mr. Anti-Cancel Culture, I didn't see anything wrong with it. Why? Because it was in a song. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't give a I don't give a damn, fam. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's it's all about the intent when using that word, and people gotta stop giving words so much power. So yeah, I did speak up on it and say that I didn't really have have an issue. I thought that she did it just to get cloud and try to get the the clicks, which you're gonna start noticing that was a pattern. Oh, I was I was ahead. I was ahead in the game. Yeah. So after that, she decided to call me out, and we debated about the fact where she lost miserably i mean it was horrible horrible later on down the line she contacted me apologized and admitted that she did not even watch my video then she smeared my name and said a bunch of nasty stuff based on she didn't even watch it yeah and she said sorry then asked me could i interview her so i did in this interview she admitted that she was using these children and doing all these stunts for clout and money yeah yeah uh -huh. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, yeah. You know your name. You She's like, yeah. Why, why, why would I not be doing it? I thought everyone wanted the money and clout. She's nasty as hell, fam. And since then, she's been going on this fake crusade as if she's some beacon of hope for the children. And then time after time, she keeps getting exposed for being about the money. She said that she made over 12K a month talking about these kids. Yeah, she was giving out lectures on the damn this. That's what she's doing out here in these streets. And there's a plethora of clips of nasty, disturbing things she did. I'm sure Bambi is going to speak on. I just wanted to give you guys my perspective. I know I'm an asshole. Not many people like me. I don't care. <laughs> oh, man. I'm honest. And to me, that's worth more. Integrity is worth more, fam. But thank you for giving me the opportunity to tell you guys about how I feel about Molly. Thank you, Bambi. I'll see you, girl. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me run in this and doing the little edits and whatnot. i see you. All right. Bye, guys. I love the gem, VX. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Now, now that we keep going, we kind of come to the... Um, to the the laundry case uh gabby petito was murdered uh and that is horrific and she was taken far too soon uh and it was extremely disappointing to see the internet um tiptoe over the line of whether we should be helping whether we are helping or hindering said case now, I feel like, in regards to that, oh, I go on Reddit and I go in comment sections and I, I read stuff, I read threads and everything, and, and a lot of people are saying that they met or found out about Molly through one of two things, which is her fighting with, with Shanann Watts' brother, Frankie, and her going to the laundry house. So these two things that make her a despicable human is the way that people know who she is. 
and turn around and trust her with money and all these things for her to go do more crazy stuff. That's where we get to this bit here, where we are going to freaking talk about. So we're going to have my reaction to portions of the um, live stream she did because I wanted, I know there's a whole bunch of live streams that have come up. This woman is always on the internet and I get a migraine so I cannot see everything but I wanted to make sure that I had this um the apology stream that she did the more where she was leaving to go back home so I so I did record that and I did um have my own reactions to it if you guys like this sort of like uh, concept of how I did it on, on when you guys see it let me know if you have any better suggestions on how I could do it I really want to start reacting to certain things uh, certain uh, content but I don't know what is the best outlook I don't know what the best way is for you guys so you guys have to let me know but then we get to this bit here right now you would you would think that there was going to be an apology in this video this uh, this thing that there, there wasn't a, an apology and if you're completely uh confused as to what i'm talking about what i'm talking about is what i released on my channel which was uh bullhorn betty um talking about the whole don wells getting fired because they showed up to a place where he was working and they came and showed them <laughs> They came and filmed themselves at the property screaming and yelling, essentially. When they weren't screaming and yelling at an empty CPS building that was just ugh, hilarious to watch. But then we see them go and attack and, you know, be on top of Don Wells, who is the father of a missing girl, innocent until proven guilty, let me tell you. This man is innocent until proven guilty and he is at work like he's not like this is the thing you guys this is the thing you guys that really bothers me about molly is that she has such hi come is coming for you molly go lightly come is coming <laughs> hi there's only 62 people just kind of a little like oh my god at this point Don was fired Don got fired so shocked did you get him fired well that wasn't my intention but Bullhorn Petty's really proud we'll get some more people in here T text your friends tell us come on over do I think that the boss is just saying that no we had we, we, we watched it we watched it and he packed all his stuff. The police were there, four police cars were there. And I have to say thank you to the Kingsport police. They were awesome. Didn't get Don fired, why are you lying? Oh, I did. It's like we're trying to find your We didn't? Don didn't get fired, stop lying. Okay. Okay. Whatever you say. I think you guys should probably, before you start, leaving your little nonsensical comments. I mean, I could turn this off. And you guys can wait till we all get home. Hey, Don, look at the bright side. You got the rest of the day off. You get to hang out with Candace. You got to drink. Lots of drink, the last bit of booze money you got. Got nowhere to go tomorrow. Okay, well then we'll go, we'll go with your stories. How about you guys have the narrative? And I'll just stay shut. Salsa says he wasn't fired. Wasn't my intention to get him by. I think some of the people in here are just too stupid for my time. I'm gonna end it, right? These people are just way too stupid. I, we gotta go, bye. Sorry, sorry. I'm just gonna end it. These people are acting dumb. I'm tired of the, what's this doing for summer? What's this doing for The, I'm like, he told me that he was fired from that one builder. And I told him. I said it was absolutely not my intention. And I did feel bad. And 
you know, Betty said, I don't feel bad. And I thought about it and I said, you know what? And I thought this like yesterday. I was like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't feel bad. Maybe this is part of this pressure campaign. And I talked to him for an hour and a half. Don has a talent. Betty did say, yes, Betty most certainly did say that. It was her intention. Yeah, it's fine. You want to know something? People can say what they want about Betty and her past, about this, this, this. I don't know specifically anything that she's done. I kind of know a tiny bit about JLR. So she opens a non-profit and people like, she doesn't Ooh. know. Olivia, be careful. These legal. people are career criminals. I'm not a career criminal. You're <laughs> a dumbass. I could speak for myself and say, I've never been convicted of a misdemeanor. I've never been convicted of a felony. I just have a mugshot. And what you think, oh, listen, there's rumors that I am embezzled money from the FBI. Do you think my husband would stay with me if I embezzled money from the FBI? Number one, I've never worked with the FBI. No real connections with the FBI, unless you want to talk to like a couple of Adrian, my husband's friends or whatever. Come on, that, that's ridiculous. Come on, come on, man. You don't, you don't have to go there. But as far as Betty and JLR, are you kidding me? Part of the fact that I loved and embraced him is the fact that they admit that they made some mistakes in their life, right? And they're, they're trying to change it. And I kid around I, with JLR. I said, like, oh my God, with the driving, oh my God, he wants to kill me, he wants to kill me. Do I fear him? Absolutely not. JLR is very focused. JLR is extremely intelligent. And he's very intelligent and that sixth sense of his is amazing. He he told me, he said, we are going to see Don today. I want you to be prepared for that. And I'm like, I have no expectations. I'm just, you know, thank you for the virtual hug. Betty? Oh, she's got a rap sheet. Please, shut up. Most people on YouTube have DUIs, battery charges. I don't have meth. any of that. Oh, Nothing. Guess what? I don't personally judge anyone. You judge everybody. For their past mistakes. You judge everybody. But what I do do is. This weekend proves that. I love, encourage, embrace people who want to change their life for the better. So if you're wondering why Molly go let me totally change and she met these people. Are you kidding me? When I met these people that have such strong convictions, Betty is a powerhouse. I want to put aloe vera, not just on my skin right now, but on She's a great speaker. eyeballs. She would make an excellent publicist. No, she, she knows how to speak. <laughs> so does J JLR. I can't do this. It's very great at strategy. What, what so strategy? You go and yell at a school building, Betty like a CPS happy. building on a Saturday? To reach out oh my God, I'm done. to these agencies takes a lot of courage, giving them the heads up. And JLR saying, you know what? If we go in there, they've... He's a little too, you know, she's too much of a, you know, blah, blah, blah. Shut up. You know what? It's 2021. I thought women wanted to be taken seriously. Don't That's you want to be a tough, strong woman? Like me? Don't you want to be a tough, strong woman? Like her? But guess what? Yeah, we're tough. Yeah. I've knocked some people out. 
I knocked some people out in my day. You better believe it. Dudes too. Not only chicks. Dudes too. But um, I'm a mother now. I'm somebody's wife. <laughs> They're scared of you and Betty. Listen, Betty's a good lady. I do. I believe that Betty's a, a good lady. Now. <laughs> now. I like... <laughs> I like that she's enjoying her little coffee thing. She, guess what? The morning, the morning crew. I'm not like the late night crew. They're awesome in the morning. I'm gonna go over to Carla. She's she's awesome. And I want and I I know that YouTube is definitely not kind of their favorite. I think they like TikTok. They like the Twitter. They like what they were doing. And so YouTube. And then being more out there with the heels on the grounds and all that, you know, it's a, it's a nice opportunity. We saw what could happen with Gabby Petito. Look what they accomplished in Moab. They got they got closer than a lot of people, but they were smart. They were really smart. When? Where? They were smart. They decided to not say when they were leaving. No lives. <laughs> they had their plans. They did it. And then they came back with their story. Brilliant. Brilliant. Wow, Drew, you, you just got timed out. I almost gave you a wrench. I almost gave you a wrench, dude. Manipulator. So, Jesus. I talked to Don for an hour and a half. Yeah, get to the point, right? Don has this it. very weird talent of making you kind of feel bad for him. Like you do? Did anything significant happen in an hour and a half of talking to him? No. Yeah, because you're a demon and he doesn't want to talk to you. And you're not He's smart like, yo, y'all trying to get me bubbles, what's up? I said, I don't understand why you didn't just talk to us. Because he doesn't want to. He should have. He said, you know, he did say, you know, Molly, I know you love my daughter. I know you love her. I see it. I know you guys are trying to help, but this is a much bigger thing that's going on, and I can't get into it. Oh, my God, more lies and conspiracies. I kept saying, you know, I can't trust your wife. I believe that this was an accident and maybe Don's in denial. Maybe he's not. Some say when you have a past like that, I'm so tired, you guys. So she doesn't judge people on their past, but she's judging him on his past. You become a master manipulator. Yeah, like you. He's like, Mercy, you can't feel bad for him. But the others, you know, they sensed it. And I think I wanted to ask you guys, do you guys ever listen to him when he goes on panels? I don't really listen to him on other panels ever. No one's, no one's. I just don't. I don't have time. It's all about money. You don't have to believe me when I say it, but that's not what it's about. It's not. Um, is the money appreciative? Appreciated. Yeah. I thought go for the shit. This woman's so stupid. You want to know something? Instead of appreciate, she said appreciative. It's nothing but headaches. But I'm able to like be like fling. <laughs> you know what I mean? As, you collect paychecks? You want to be controversial? Let's go, you know? Oh, you, wanna, you, you wanna make other channels not intentionally look bad? Oh yeah, these are the channels that are talking about it, right? Talking about it, talking about it, talking about it. Or making tons of money, right? Making tons of money. But then when we go out and we spend money and we beg for donations, right? Oh, it's all about money. It's all about money. If you didn't donate, then you have no reason to talk about the donations. But when people have asked you, this is the lies. There was not. Hey, there's how are you? There was no tens of thousands. Ah, so that means people do absolutely nothing. These crazy know. rumors. Now I'm here, and someone gave me a tip. The freaking Angela Voices made some fake text messages. I'm like, I didn't even look. I'm like, fuck out of here, please. And not to the girl that sent it to me. Just giving you a heads up. Listen, I, listen. I'm in another zone. And I'm not looking for pity or for you to understand how it feels, but Jonathan and Andra, these guys are serious. Molly, you're in trouble, girl. Yeah, Molly, you in trouble. No, it's Molly, you in danger, girl. No, no, I'm not in trouble. What am I gonna be in trouble for? I didn't do anything. You can't Ashley, man lose his job and stalk his I family. I did do something. I did trespass again. There you go, you just admitted it. I did, I did, but they let me go. Oh, God. But one of the companies, Don did confirm, this is anyone who's talking about Chris Watt. <laughs> that was easy street, okay? Easy. <laughs> no way. Those 
It was a little bit of drama with Chris Watts. This. Why are you apologizing, Molly? Because I freaked everybody out. Screaming. Screaming. There's almost a thousand people here. Three o'clock in the morning. Can I get some support with a couple of thumbs up? Am I okay? Please don't say anything negative about Bull or Betty. She doesn't deserve it. That girl's up. That, that lady is up every morning. Waking me up. Come on, Molly. Let's go. JLR, we've got to get out of here. Blah, blah, blah. These people are for real. And this whole thing with, oh, this is all about clicks and likes and views. These Because these are or, or a bunch of scammer commenters. Like, are you crazy? JLR didn't even monetize his. He didn't even put the super chat on. He doesn't care. He's like, I want summer wells found he will go they will go into the woods and really they put when i see them walking through these forests and shit i'm like oh. i'm gonna tell you they are the real deal they're the real deal i like them i do and i have respect for all four of them and that includes Tom. don's mad that i talked to ali don's mad that i talked to dudley and I said, listen, Don, a lot of things that, what do you see? What do you see the whole thing with Dudley? And Dudley, I believe, is a, is a good guy. I don't, I don't think that it's right for... Come on, Don. So crazy someplace else. We're all fucked up here. <laughs> so... You know, I feel like what I'm about to say. We can't cover junkie cases. We can't get involved with families that are extremely like you know the cash grinning one that was a that was, that was worse for me this one tonight there was this gray cloud too many too much drama around this but it's like a, it's so bittersweet because like law enforcement is very very nice and they are doing their job and i guess we had to see that and we had to show up in person to see don's you know and by the way, Don, when Don called, do you want to know why he originally called me? To tell me that he was in the chat. <laughs> and I was ignoring him. No, I didn't see him. Tired. Do you see how exhausted I am? You're a human. I, I know. And I, you know, it'd be nice if you guys could tone it down a bit. Tone it down a bit. And consider the feelings of other people. Now, I don't really get offended very easily, but... Just remember that a lot of people lie about me. <laughs> it's a good thing I record everything. Remember, someone if someone's telling you Marissa is a liar, this is what I want you to do. Tell them. Prove that she's a liar. Because I bet you Molly Light is gonna prove that she's not. Because this has happened a couple hundred times. What I lie about. What do I lie about? You turn it down. So just get rid of her. I don't goose. Goose, go Michonne on these motherfuckers. I don't want any Don Wells sympathizers, any Kansas sympathizers around me. I'm sorry, I don't agree with you. I, I, listen, this she, is the same Wells stream. Is more to me, she was just like, do you ever feel like a little sad? Than trying to get in good with an interview with Don. No, those are not my type of people. Judgmental bitch. Do you guys want to see the video? I can release it. How we met yesterday. I'm not a cop. But that's also a good thing that I'm not a cop. Like, do you really listen to yourselves? Like, the hate for me, like, I can handle haters. I, I love the uh, haters. And guess what? I love the attention. I'm not going to lie. I love it. I love attention. And no. And guess what? If you don't think that this is authentic, and you think this is awful good, don't you think that I would have dolled myself up if... No, it's not important. It's just not important. I got dolled up for Vinnie Politan because we're talking to Vinnie Politan. I got dolled up for... Princess wants a job. I was like, thinking today, I was like, hmm, maybe I can give him a little job on my channel. He can strike people. And <laughs> I'm not really a striker. Do I really care that you're using my stuff? No. You're actually promoting me. 
So the more people talk about me, or anyone, anyone, the more you talk about, um, say, Chris McDonough, and you do it in a negative way, he, he's the one that wins. He makes more money the more the more you talk. Do you want to know why I started making a little bit more money and stuff? It's because so many people are talking about me. So it's going up, up, up. And you think these negative videos that, and, and this is for any people that are doing channel creating, I have to explain this to um, uh, Olivia and, and, and say, listen, what's the ones for? What the fuck does one mean? Then he's your biggest promoter. He's not putting my fucking name in the title though. He's gonna hashtag me, put my name in the, in the title, Molly but lightly. Don't be doing this NGL bullshit. I don't like that. I don't like that. Did I what? Did you tell Don to be Candace? Beat her? Like physically hurt her? No. My God. Where did you hear that? You would never tell someone to beat a woman. Where did you hear that? I'm not sure where the call police. I wasn't sure where was the call police. Huh? Trump is so negative. Don't see you enjoying that. I love Donald Trump. And Marissa, you and your team have good souls. Thank you. Bullhorn Betty said that Don. No. Bullhorn Betty said. No, she did it. Oh my God. Oh, she did. Oh, my God. Oh, it's still dark out. Yes, Trump 2020. Yeah, I am a Trump supporter, yes. I lost my wrench. Court, how did you lose your... How do people lose their wrenches? You know what? Unless it was on the live channel. Maybe it was. Court, you're in my Patreon, aren't you? He says she has such judgment for people, such judgment for the way that they appear, and such judgment for their past, such judgment for everything they do. And you look at marissa molly and you see that this woman has criminal rec she's stolen from a stripper she's left her child with the manny the nanny while she just goes and does whatever she wants but then she's she's screaming and yelling at candace who innocent until proven guilty doesn't have her child this is traumatic for these people innocent i don't know guilty i don't know doesn't matter i would just rather not be that person that was insinuating something like that to a person that has just lost their child do you know what i mean like i just I, that's not my vibe it's not my vibe and i don't understand why people think that it's okay that molly does this now we've got bullhorn betty up in here if you guys want something on bullhorn betty let me know down below but we have all of these different things and no one <coughs> and i think that that's what we really need is a video where everything that this woman has done is just shown in one video so you don't forget so you don't have to scroll to another clip or another hashtag or scroll through, like watch a whole live stream. Like this woman does not care about anybody but herself and money and notoriety. And she doesn't care how she, she does it. She doesn't care how she gets it. And that's what drives me nuts because I'm like, stop giving this woman money. Stop giving this woman your views. Stop watching her. Go watch any of these reaction channels that react to her live streams if you want the content of the log cow, which I understand because I felt the same way. But the more I dig into this, the more I'm like, because it's not just like she's Shani for Christ that just goes and does dumb stuff and, um, and abuses her kids and all those sorts of things molly goes and inserts herself in a true crime community and in a true crime case and i know everyone thinks that true crime is just something you see on the internet this is actually real life stuff and what if don and candace had done something to summer and these fools just hindered that case with their outrageous antics this is the thing guys Stop making stupid people famous. Stop giving stupid people your money. And stop, 
please letting stupid people like this woman be where you go for your true crime content because let me tell you that there is Sherilyn Dale there is Bailey Sarian there is um Annie tend to life I don't like her but I like her channel I'm sorry she does really 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 good true, true true crime breakdowns especially when it comes to when they go to like like it's more of the 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 police have done their bit it's more about the judicial system doing their bit does that make sense i like when she talks about court procedures and you know bail and things like that so i do enjoy that but what i'm saying is there are so many stephanie harlow daniel hallen um oh there's so many people, so many people. Danielle Christie, um, Eleanor Neal, um, even that, even It's a Crime, Nor Jasmine, um, that guy that met Barry Morphew, he went down there. He was very respectful in the way that he conducted himself there. That, that there, I can get behind. But this here, mm -mm. It is not good. It is not good. And I just want people to see that. Do you know what I mean? Like, watch any of these lolcows content. Because Molly, when she didn't know she was being recorded, made this reference. I am a monetized channel. It's none of your business if someone decides to become a member. It's none of your business if I have a Patreon. Cash Gurnan's family support us. And she thinks that we're like making tons of money off of they, but, but, but off these videos, which we're not. He was not a moneymaker. The one that's the moneymaker is Summer Wells. For some reason, if you talk about Summer Wells and you keep going, you're making bank. It's a gold mine. It's an absolute gold mine. You want to know something? And admitted that she's also called Summer Wells a cash cow. I am just going to place a whole bunch of clips through this video, guys, and you guys can just see. Just have that in your in your mind as if you want to go and support this woman and watch this woman and sign up for Patreon and PayPal and Cash App. And she's apparently a life coach. I didn't mention that before. I should have. I didn't mention it because I think that's a crock of shit. Like, that's a joke. Joke. She, like, she has yelled at a woman. She has yelled at a woman that her children were harmed by her ex-partner, the, the children's father, and Molly decided to rip into this woman also after a dispute they had. And when they had confided in each other, she would brought Christmas presents for this woman's children, all this sort of stuff. Molly just, that's the first thing that pops out of her mouth during an argument? Like, what is, like, why don't you, what? No. I was going over a year ago. So, and I, and I said to, I said to Diane, yo, Diane, get this post. You want to fucking go there, bitch? I'm going to fucking pound you. I'm going to fucking pound you, I'm gonna fucking pound you, you fucking cunt. How fucking dare you? And what I fucking did for you, and you fucking kids, you fucking cunt. Potty mouth fucking mama, that fucking white trash bitch fucking cunt made a fucking Christmas wish list with fucking Diane and me and my mother who's on fucking social security, my Patreons. My husband fulfilled everything on that fucking wish list. And you want to know what this fucking bitch did? Now I'm going to fucking pin you down. You fucking white trash cunt. You fucking bitch. I spent fucking hundreds and hundreds. I went over to fucking Gap.com. I went over to Gap.com. I said Andrewcrown.com. And you know what I fucking did? I ordered her fucking kids. Not for her. I ordered this bitch nothing. I did it for her kids. Because she came on here saying that her kids were molested by their own father. She sent me photos. She sent me news clippings. She sent me a marriage certificate to claim she wanted it to be fucking known. That little white trash bitch. How dare you? How fucking dare you? I called up Tiffany Marie before my birthday. Tiffany Marie, I gotta tell you something. I know, I didn't. I said no, I didn't say I have to tell you something. Adrian! Please come here. My husband went on and bought for them. My mother. Me. I made sure that they had fucking everything. You fucking bitch! You fucking white trash cunt! How dare you! I went over to thegeekup.com. I went to abercrombiefitch.com. I got them fucking jackets, scarves, gloves, more than they fucking asked. 
I charged my card hundreds of fucking dollars. And I said, I was talking to Tiffany Marie one day. We're in, it was right around between Christmas and uh, New Year's. It was around that fucking week when I was rocking it with Vinny G. You don't want to know what this bitch did? You fucking just triggered me now. Now I'm going to tell everybody what you and fucking Diane were fucking doing. You know what? Thank you. Thank you for going on that fucking Sasquatch Mandy Lynn's fucking channel. Thank you. Now I get to fucking tell everybody what Potty Mouth Mama fucking Louisiana that bitch fucking did. She fucking returned all the fucking clothes. You want to know what she did? She sent them back. And I got an email from the Gap and the book company saying we received your, your fucking returns. And we have issued a refund to your fucking credit card. You fucking bitch. And I said to, I said to Tiffany Marie, I said, what does that sound like to you? She says, oh my God, Marissa. I said, it sounds like she thought that she was going to get the fucking refund. She wanted hundreds and hundreds of fucking dollars. Thinking that it was gonna go back to fucking her. You fucking white trash fucking cunt. Let her in a fucking trailer. How fucking dare you? How dare you take advantage of us? You bitch. How dare you take advantage of my fucking generosity? And it's because of you, you fucking low life, that won't get up and get a fucking job and take care of those fucking kids. You fucking skank. I gotta fucking give them a goddamn Christmas. And you're like, thanks. Fuck you. You're a piece of shit. And people were telling me on the side, don't do anything for that little piece of shit. She's a piece of fucking trash. And I said I didn't do it for her. I kept saying I didn't do it for her. I did it for her kids. Fuck you. Potty mouth mama. Fuck you. You pig! How dare you! You fucking pig! I give your fucking kids a Christmas! I give them everything they fucking wanted! One more! I'm fucking hating you too! The fucking biggest- This is what I get! This is what I get! This is what I get for being nice to be white! You piece of shit! You wanna know something? You don't deserve for me to say karma's coming for you because you have the fucking shittiest life! You cunt! You f my mother! My father! My siblings didn't get anything! Christmas. Because I spent it on your fucking kids. You piece of shit. You disgusting piece of shit. And people were telling me, don't push her fucking wish list. She's a bad person. She doesn't want to fucking work. You are a low life. You are a low life. How dare you? How dare you? You are a pig. Those kids should be taken away from you. You couldn't even fucking protect them. You fucking pig. Have not had your fucking eye on your kids and your fucking husband. You pig. Fuck you! And how dare you fucking talk shit about me after what I did for you! Special place in fucking hell for you, sweetheart! You piece of shit! You're a piece of garbage! You deserve to fucking live where you live! In that fucking hell hole! My fucking prayers with your kids! I did it for your kids! I didn't do it for you! I don't know you! I don't owe you anything! I did it for kids! Innocent children! And here, you wanna say, Oh, Chris is talking about her for life! You did a video! A year ago! Talking about what your disgusting husband did to your kids! You pig! You pig! Take care of your fucking kids! Keep an eye on them, you pig! You married a fucking monster! You disgusting bitch! How fucking dare you treat people that are fucking helped you? What has fucking Diane done for you? What are these lazy bitches doing for you? And then you think you're gonna get on someone's panel like Mandy Lynn? That Sasquatch? Who said, who spent $150 of birthday money to her triplets? This girl's got six children! Six children! And she's on YouTube all day long! All day long! I don't know, she must have four nannies like, like Kim Kardashian, right? 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 Like Kim Kardashian. I'm just saying, y'all, I'm just saying. I had one kid, and my husband was the point. You women, how dare you call yourselves mothers? How dare you stop having children if you're not going to take care of them? And how dare you return all that fucking beautiful stuff for a return thinking you're going to get money back? It went straight back to my fucking card. I spent so much money on your Christmas wish list. Did you even tell these little girls? Did you tell these kids that it was another woman that you've never met? Or did you just, or did you just say it was from you? Did you wrap those gifts up and say it was from you? You know what? I don't need to thank you. You want to know something? I did it with good intent. I did it with good intent. How dare you? Party mouth mommy, you're a piece of shit. And I should have listened to everyone that told me to fucking stop. That you go real life on people. And that you were looking into people. You were supplying personal information to other people. How dare you? How dare you? You are a pig. You are a pig. And you do not deserve to be a mother of those children. You are disgusting. And I have not been this angry in years. But it's been fucking boiling. You think I haven't told people what you did? Trying to get money back, you fucking pig! You pig! Shut the fuck up! Just shut the fuck up, people. Don't tell me to fucking calm down. I can't even see the fucking chat. I don't even fucking want to look at the goddamn chat. That girl is a piece of fucking trash. I don't roll with white trash! Do you hear me? I don't roll with fucking inbreds and fucking incels. I don't roll with low lowlifes. You're a pig. Get the fuck out of here! You're disgusting. Clip it. Molly, you are trash. And you, out of all people in this world, do not need to be in the true crime community. You are a lol's cow. Okay? And you're fucking shit up and you're making a mockery out of people. 
you have had arguments with people in regards to their um, how they mother and parent even after a lot uh, they've lost their child you've yelled at someone who lost their child who lost their grandchild you were yelling at the grandmother i think his name was cash i cannot remember i'm so sorry but you were yelling at their grandmother saying that you love that baby more than they did see you are a disgusting freaking human and if people don't see that don't come crying don't go crying when you say rich people oh dumb people get famous and why do dumb people get because people go and watch the dumb bitch people go and watch her dumb shit and i know that sounds really 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 mean what i just said but i hope that you guys can see where, where my frustration and anger comes from when you've seen all these clips throughout the video Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to like, subscribe, send a pigeon, keep the same energy.